Hey, so what up guys, Matt here with Droid Tech, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the live proof next. So if you have seen my previous videos, you have seen me do the unboxing and sort of review of the live proof slam. So this case was my daily case for the past two weeks, and I've been testing the next ever since. So today, the phones that I'm going to be testing on will be the iPhone XR as well as the iPhone XS Max, you can see right here. Okay, so what sets the LifeProof next from the LifeProof Slam? The difference is the dust protection and also the pot covers, which I'm a big fan of. I would say this case is probably the case which most of you should go for as compared to the LifeProof Slam because the Slam is sort of like an entry level and doesn't really give that much protection except for drops. But this gives more than drop protection. And I'll be showing you that through this video so stick around okay another disclaimer is that i'm actually using the huawei p30 pro again to film and this time i've already upgraded to the latest firmware and i'm testing out to see whether they still have the color shift issue which was present in the previous video however on the display i'm seeing that they have actually resolved the issue which is a great thing in my opinion because i use my phones a lot for videos these days and not really my mirrorless anymore okay so without further ado Let's get this video started. Okay, so guys, I'm back. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest content which I post. Okay, so let's come back to the case itself. As usual, we will be looking at the box itself and then we will get into the case. Okay, so let's take the iPhone XR version. You can see XR. It's similar to the iPhone XS Max except for the color. So you can see it's identical. So we will just be going through one box itself and that will be enough. Okay, so let's take a look at the box. You can see live proof next. So this is a mid-range case, the highest end which is the fray. And I'll be doing that in the next video. So this is the second out of three videos which I'm going to be posting. So you can see dirt proof, snow proof and drop proof. As compared to the live proof slam, which was only drop proof. However, the drop proof rating is still the same as the slam. Okay, so let's continue. So you can see iPhone XR, you can see a nice window where you can see the case inside. On the back, it's basically the same thing. The rival to this case is actually the Autobox Pursuit, which I've done many videos on. I mean, I've done it for the S9 and even the iPhone series. So that case is excellent. But of course, this brings it to another level. I mean, if you talk about Autobox and LifeProof, they are basically the same company. So this is exactly the same as Autobox Pursuit. Okay, so taking out the case is as simple as sliding out the tray. So inside the box, you get the case itself. You can see, I'll be going through that later. And also, a tool that will help you install and remove the case. If necessary, so we'll be taking that out. And also, uh, instruction manual in the back. So no, it's taken, yes. Instruction manual. So let's do the same for the iPhone XS Max box. As you can see, I've taken out both the cases to save time. Okay, let's take a look at the case itself. So you can see it's a clear bag with a generous cutout for the cameras. You can see right here. Okay, this is something unique as compared to the LifeProof Slam. So you can see there's actually pot coverings as well as a mesh to prevent dirt and debris from getting into your speaker holes and also there's a charging port protector as well which i mentioned earlier you see everything else is pretty similar as you can see on the left hand side nice sort of rotating switch for your mute and ring toggle you can see there's volume up and down buttons on the right side power button you can see the front is nice and open you can see this is also clear as well you can see right here, exactly the same with that iPhone XS Max version except for the different speaker and microphone grills right at the bottom. And of course the size as well. You can see other than that everything else is identical. Okay, so let me grab the tool and show you how to open the case. Just have to put in your tool and twist. So it's pretty hard doing it behind the camera so you can see. Twist. And that's about it. So you can remove the back portion from the front. Okay, there's one more tap here. Let me remove this as well. 
So it's just like this. Okay, let's take a closer look at the case. You can see on the insides. This is basically a hard shell back. And of course, it scratches pretty easily as all clear back cases. And also this is unique to the life proof next because there's actually a small gasket at the camera hole. So it actually protects dirt and debris from getting into the back of your case, which is something good, I should say. Okay, let's take a look at the front portion. See the front portion right here. This is where your phone will be basically sitting in. You can see right here. Very nice cutouts. I should say buttons. Here's the bottom. You can see. This is the pop protector. Okay. Another thing unique about this case for the front portion is that there's actually a small gasket going around the screen portion so that that and the won't get into the case and start scratching your device. So I should say this is a case which I would use on the daily because there's much lint in my pocket. So I usually pull out my phone and my phone is pretty dusty. So I like using cases like this. That's the reason I love the Autobox Pursuit. Okay, so let's install the phone into the case. You can see I don't have a screen protector on because I'm currently actually testing the live proof free for both the iPhones. So it's very simple. All you need to do is just take the back portion of this case, put your phone in. I like to do it bottom side first. Put your phone in. It's so that simple. Make sure the volume button aligns. You can see it works. And then step on the top portion of the case. So you can see it's as simple as just ensuring that it clips in at all the corners. Easy and simple installation. See, it's all stepped in place. And I have the red iPhone. Then R, you can see the red shine through the case because this is a clear back case. Buttons are very tactile. As you can hear, let me put it behind the camera near the mic. Very tactile buttons. So let me install the iPhone XS Max version and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back. And you can see I've installed the iPhone XS Max version as well. Okay, besides all the pros of this case, the drop rating, the dust protection, basically the look of the case, which I'm really a fan of, there's also some drawbacks. As you can see, my iPhone XR version doesn't have a screen protector. It's not only because I'm testing the LifeProof Free, but it's also because I had a full coverage tempered glass screen protector on my XR and it wouldn't fit in this case as compared to the LifeProof Slam. Okay, reason being, because the border of this case actually covers slightly more screen real estate as compared to the LifeProof Slam. So my tempered glass screen protector couldn't fit. This case does pose some drawbacks in terms of the type of screen protector which you are using. I've gotten another type of screen protector from my XS Max. You can see this is not a full coverage screen protector. This screen protector just covers the screen itself, so it fits in this case perfectly. So you can see the type of screen protectors does pose a problem as well. But I mean, screen protectors are not hard to get, so it's easy. You can just buy one off maybe Amazon, eBay, or local users can buy through Lazada or something like that. That is not full coverage, so pretty easy. You can see buttons are also very tactile. Another drawback of this case is that this case is pretty wide, similar to what I said regarding the slam. It's very wide, it's hard to hold, and you can see I have really big hands and you can see I'm, I'm, I can't even reach the other end of the screen so I basically have to hold the phone halfway in order to reach the other end and especially the top and bottom. This for me is not a really serious issue because I'm pretty used to, you know, manoeuvring my phone. But for you guys with small hands, you're going to feel that this case is pretty hard to use. So this case is definitely a two-handed case, especially for iPhone XS Max users. However, iPhone XR users, uh, it's possible to use with one hand, but of course, it's risky as well. So I would say that this case is pretty wide. I wish they actually slimmed down the edges. It would be much more user-friendly. But anyway, I do love this case. You can see the cutouts. I like the fact that they have a sort of a gasket around the camera ring so that no dust will get into the back because that's a problem with most clear back cases is that the dust actually gets into the back and, you know, 
people like us who like to show off our phones, we'll see dust inside and it's not a good sight. So this case, in terms of pricing, this case actually is similar to the Autobox Pursuit. I mean, it's in the 200 to 250 ringgit range. Not a cheap case by any means, but if you're going to talk about getting the life proof slam, might as well spend extra money and get the life proof next. I mean, it provides you way better protection. Not just drop protection, but also protection from dust and debris, which is something you're going to be wanting if you're going to leave this case on for the lifespan of your device. In my opinion, I would rather buy the Nex over the Slam. The free, yes, is good, but it's, it has all the drawbacks of a waterproof case, which I'll be talking about in the next video. So this case is actually more of a balanced case in terms of protection as well as looks. It's something I would really use on the daily, except if it wasn't in this pink color. But anyway, shout out to Lifeproof Malaysia for actually giving me two units to actually test out and show you guys. I really appreciate it. Okay, so that's about it for this video. I'll leave everything in the description below as usual. So let me know in the comments what you guys think and don't forget to like this video if you did like it and also subscribe to this channel. I'll be covering the Lifeproof free in the next video, so do stay tuned. So that's about it guys. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.